Okay, so the first thing we're going to acknowledge is uh, we're going to cover some basic ways you block in Filipino martial arts. They're slightly different than other martial arts. Um, a lot of it's similar to boxing, actually, for, especially for the punching. But we'll do other things to try and damage the limb while we're blocking. So, just to start, you want to stand with your hands up, high by your face, um, ideally open. You don't want them closed. It's going to be really hard to block and parry things when they're when they're closed. So you keep them slightly open and loose. Your hands can also move much faster when they're open. Um, you can also, just off the bat for a street situation, place your hand on your head and cover up. This this is a very defensive uh, position. It's used in Filipino martial arts a lot, especially for empty hand fighting. And the reason it's good is because if Harris just throws anything at me and my hands come up, at least I'm covered enough to drive in or move back. So if he starts really wailing on me, well, I'm covered. I'm not getting damaged as bad. It's not the ultimate self-defense technique, but it's definitely, if I don't see what's coming and I just see a punch, boom, I'm used to my hand coming up high by my head. The other one protecting the other side. My chin goes down and I look at him. Very effective and your instinct should also be closed in as it happens. This elbow becomes a hit. Okay, so make sure that your hand comes high on your head and the other one protects. Uh, uh, in a basic way, the way you want to practice it is your hands are here, they're open, you shoot them up. And get with me, so we're here, shoot them up and protect. You do it on the other side, shoot them up and protect. Shoot them up and protect. Shoot them up and protect. Your hand can come on the inside, can come on the outside. One elbow is very high on that side and your chin is tucked. On the other side, it's wide and protected. This is protecting both, side of my, both sides of my head, my temple, and my jaw. The whole point of this is don't get knocked out. That's the don't get knocked out technique. So you're here, you imagine the punch coming, you check. You imagine the punch coming, you check. You check. You check. So he's just gonna throw a random punch. I'm just gonna cover up. He's gonna throw a punch. I'm gonna cover up. I don't need to know what it is, I just cover up. That's technique number one. Um, uh, another technique, a lot of the time, and this is, you'll see this in boxing, is we parry a lot in Filipino martial arts because our hands are open. But what we'll do is use counter techniques while we parry. So on a basic level, when he throws a punch, I just learn to parry. Okay, so all I'm doing is, in slow motion, I'm parrying the hand, and I'm letting it, I'm not parrying it out to here. I'm parrying it right by my face, and I'm letting it come right beside my face. So once I'm comfortable doing this, see my hands always stay high, I can start counter punching with the parry. My targets are one, the bicep, two, in between the tricep and bicep, three, on the other side, the actual tricep itself, and I hit with these two knuckles, boom, like that, four, the body or armpit, and five, you can do it on the other side. I check his hand or his face. So number one, here, boom. So the way it looks, number two, here. Number three, outside. And you see how my head moves. If he just throws the punch, my head is doing this. Exactly like boxing. Number four, to the body or to the armpit. Number five, to the hand. At least that's how we practice it, but in reality it's an eye jab at the exact same time. Okay, so one more time to review. We have, I'm not ready. He, throw, he tries to sucker punch me, my hands are down. Cover up. This position, it's a high guard. Again, I don't need to see what's coming. I don't need to know what's coming. It's very good as it's the very simple, instinctive reaction. Lift your hands up. This way, you're guaranteed to not get knocked out. Now I'm ready. He's throwing jabs and everything. I'm moving back. I just get used to here. I time it. And boom, I start hitting his biceps, start hitting his triceps, start hitting his body, and eventually his face. 